So today I am presenting face to face. It's a collaboration between the University of Erlangen Nuremberg, the Max Planck Institute for Informatics, and Stanford University. Um, on the right, you can see what face to face does. It transfers the expression of a source video to a target video and re renders it on top of the target video input. So there are many related uh, publications in that field. So on the one hand, you have offline methods that try actually to solve the problem and to get the best results uh, that they can get. And on the other hand, you have online methods that try to get the best results within a certain time frame, frame for example, this uh, 30 milliseconds in our case. So face-to-face -face belongs to uh, uh, the online methods and it only requires a commodity uh, webcam so we don't have any special hardware requests. So here is a short overview of my talk. So at the beginning I want to introduce our parametric face model so um, that we can use this model to uh, capture the geometry of the face and um, that we use to uh, track the expressions. Then I will shortly talk about the reenactment uh, stage and at the end I will show you some results in a live demo. So when I'm talking about the parametric phase model I'm talking about the parameter vector P. It has six degrees of freedom for the rigid pose of the um, head. We have another 80 parameters for the shape and 80 parameters for the albedo. These parameters alpha and beta we call uh, identity parameters and they control the PCA blend shape model of plants and feta. In addition to uh, this PCA model we uh, use delta blend shape models that add uh, expression to the neutral pose. And last but not least we also model uh, the illumination using spherical harmonics, there we use the first three bands resulting in nine coefficients per color channel. So in total we have around 270 parameters. So when we have such a parameter vector P, we can use um, the standard graphics pipeline to rasterize the new image. And we also use the graphic, uh, graphics card to uh, um, evaluate uh, gradients for um, these um, for this model. So using this model, we use uh, analysis analysis through synthesis approach. So we have to adjust the parameter vector p in a way that we can reproduce the input vector. So we have uh, energy uh, here e of p that somehow has has to measure the difference between the input image and the synthesized image. It consists of a color consistency term that measures the pixel-wise difference between the input image and the synthesized image in RGB color space using a L21 norm. In addition to this dense term, we have a sparse feature term. So we detect features in the input image and match them to uh, uh, the corresponding points on the template mesh. So when we want to uh, um, estimate the identity parameters, these alpha and beta parameters, we not only use one image, but we use several images and we just sum up this uh, per frame energy and then we use a GPU based Gauss-Newton solver which um, is based on this hierarchy here. So we start from cost and propagate the solution to higher levels. And here in the bottom row, you already see the overlaid template mesh that is fitted to the input data. So after this stage, we have a good approximation of the geometry of the person. And we can also use the input data to reconstruct or to generate a person specific texture. So after this stage, we uh, fix the identity parameters and we only track expression rigid and the light parameters, which gives us such tracking results. 
So once we have the tracking of the face and we know the parameters, we can edit these parameters. So we actually can adjust illumination, we can also alter, alternate the uh, texture, or in the case of reenactment, we can apply other expressions. So in the reenactment stage, we have a um, pre-processed video. So here in the bottom left, you can see uh, the pre-processed video. And we have uh, online tracking that runs, and then we transfer the retrieved or the estimated expressions from the source actor to the target actor in an expression transfer method. And then we re-render it on top of the input video. And then we also have to re-synthesize the mouth interior. This is done image-based, so um, we build up a database of mouth interiors. And then we use the frame of this database that best fits the expression that we want to apply. And I think you can see the results best in the, our live demo. Okay, we have to restart it. Um, this uh, takes a short while. Here we um, we load the the model, and then we load the the video, and we uh, set up this mouth database and remove the illumination in these um, mouth frames that we can use them later during the reenactment stage and add the changed illumination in the frame. So <clears throat> it should start in some seconds. So what you can see here, on the left you see the input of uh, the RGB webcam. So we have here this live uh, webcam, and on the right you already see the overlaid uh, template mesh. So this is um, the, the template mesh of Blunts and Feta. And you can see uh, the parameters in the bottom row. So the green parameters are the shape parameters, and the yellow ones are for the albedo. So we now take uh, three uh, keyframes. And now the optimization runs, so we have this course to fine uh, level, so the image gets sharper and sharper. And at the end of uh, this stage, we now have a personalized model with a person-specific texture. And here it's already overlaid. <coughs> Here you can see we can we have control over the albedo. We can add uh, a logo. Now we uh, set the neutral pose. The neutral pose is needed because we uh, um, have to calculate the. So the neutral pose is the reference pose, and we now apply the expressions in correspondence to this reference pose to uh, another video. <coughs> So, you can do funny things with it. So, we can may show also the mouth database. So, here you can see the mouth database. It's quite a lot of mouth frames that we have. And in the top left, you see uh, the retrieved mouth frame. And so we just use the nearest neighbor 
in the smart database, but we also um, improve temporal coherence by using a, a appearance-based uh, graph. So we uh, search for a compromise between the old retrieved mouth frame and the target mouth frame that we want to have. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, to conclude, we uh, presented the first uh, reenactment paper that it's only based on RGB data, so we can use arbitrary videos from the internet. For example, here this Putin video, but we have also many other videos that you may also have seen in the on YouTube or at the Jimmy Kimmel show. <laughs> so, okay, thank you for your attention.